Chris Elbori. Um, got some uh, issues there. I wonder if uh, if we can uh, take a look and see what's going on. So um, the main question is, he thinks he's got a sister and spirit, a twin sister. Uh, uh, regardless of all, all all the abuse and abandonment and and, and things and um, suicide thoughts or, or whatever they are, I don't know what's been going on here. But let's just see overall what what this is uh, all about. Uh, given, I suppose, to some degree, it is a private thing, a confidential thing. It's trying to be confidential without being confidential, if you get what I mean. It's it isn't very easy, is it? Uh, um so so what we'll what we'll do I want to use these uh, tarot here uh there Chris and we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna see what what the, what the crock is uh so we'll give the uh the tarot a shuffle and then uh, we'll, we'll see what's uh, where we go from there uh as we shuffle the cards I just simply say I I, I ask for the truth on behalf of Chris Al uh, Barrel concerning uh, the, the, these issues of uh, of um, past abuse and uh, and uh, feelings of abandonment and um, <coughs> bad treatment overall, really, uh, but uh, has found uh, found it within himself to forgive, and now he's got himself. Uh, uh, a good wife there standing by his side so what goes around comes around I suppose to some degree and all things work together for good for those who I don't know what what what's this about I ask in the name of truth right conduct peace love and non-violence blessed be to the crow the carrier of souls from darkness into light and we just cut the uh, the crow's magic tarot there for you, uh, um, uh, Chris, and we'll just move them over to the side here. And I'm going to deal out three cards. Uh, the first card we deal, um, can, can, can you see that? Let me just pop it there. Right, uh, the first card we deal um, is going to be in the possession of the recent past so we just take the top card because where the deck splits is where it's thought to be at its strongest point asked on your behalf of course um that that, that it's effectively the centers on top isn't it the most energetic part of it uh or, or roundabouts there um so the first card we deal is, is, is the recent past uh, this will be a period of time between now and this time last month. Between now and the last full moon, you could say, couldn't you? Um, of course, now the next card is, is is the full moon now, which which we've just which we've just uh, had here. We've just got there, and then finally um, the immediate future. We just pop there. I don't know if. Uh, if you can, I'm just checking the the screen on the camcorder just to make sure I can see it. Uh, so I'll just maybe move these three along just a bit there, uh, and if I can see them, I know you can. Uh, if you get what I mean. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's pull out the first card and let's see what's been going on uh, just recently um, in this situation. This is, like I say, a period of time between now and the last full moon. So it isn't. I suppose it's as near as near as to now. The past and the future are as near to now as you can get um, to sort of make it legible. Without I could say, well, you know, you could say in three years' time this will happen, that will happen, and it probably will in some way, shape, or form. That's cheating. Let's see though. What's uh, sort of as near as to now as possible. Uh, without it being now, so maybe this might give us an idea of why you've you've sought help, or because that's what we're, we're here to help, aren't we? At the end of the day, and this is probably why you've sought help. Maybe uh, the energy 
that's uh, been vibrating just recently will flip this card nice and slowly not to disturb the energy and um, yes the the ten of the ten of swords notice there uh, Crowley calls the ten of swords the 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 Lord of Ruin uh, this tends to focus on a black and clouded energy as well so it does seem to show that that maybe if you haven't been feeling sort of down then certainly things have been happening to to maybe give you flashbacks or something what I'm sort of sensing is though oh not again not all this again um, either somebody's raised it in conversation or something's happened that deja vu and you thought oh god not again um, just when I thought I'd put it behind me or something that it, 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 it's usually that sod's law thing isn't it that anything that can go wrong will bloody go wrong at the bloody most inconvenient time it, it always happens that way doesn't it um, but it, 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 it seems if it's, it's as if you've got this sort of energy here um, notice there of course the crow uh, I suppose to some degree the crow is is, has been recently carrying you a bit like the footprints um, poem isn't it uh, the footprints poem where you see one set of footprints and you think you're walking alone but it's actually uh, your guardian angel or whoever it is carrying you um, and in this case crow uh, is carrying you through the darkness into the light and maybe that's when you lost faith just recently I don't know um, but I just, I just sort of sense this, oh not again, here we go again sort of thing, you know, I don't know why, I'm, I hope I'm wrong, but you never know. Let's just pull out the next card, let's see what, what's manifest from this, let's see where, where, what's, what's come of this. We'll just flip the next card and we'll just see what it's all about as we, we reveal the, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a shaman, she's an enchanter maybe indicating that there are shaman shamans whatever out there a uh, lot sort of tuning into your energy and trying to heal you in some way but usually this the queen of course is the watery part of and she's got more it's more to do with intuition isn't it more to do with foresight and maybe you're having to use your foresight because people aren't telling you much uh, but maybe you've learned as, as, as most of us have you don't listen to what people tell you, you listen to what people don't tell you. That tells you more, really, than anything, doesn't it? Let's see what the immediate future has to hold here. Um, we'll just flip the next card and we'll just uh, see what this is. A major arcana card. You've got the Hermit. The Hermit, of course, with it being a major arcana card, it indicates that what happens between now and the next full moon you'll have no control over it. You'll still have choices on how you handle it, but you'll have no control over it, where you had control, you had power to change it in the recent past, and you still have power to change things now, but you won't have much power to change it uh, between now and the next full moon. But this is a period of time for the self, for the internal, for you to, like the moth, go toward the flame, the, 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 the flame in the lantern, the lantern of occult science, which is the light of the world. It's the light that shines in all of us. It has your name on it. It has my name on it. It has your wife's name on it. It has even your sister who's in spirit. It even has her name on it. And, and it's that connection. When you tune, in, tune into your higher self, you're tuning into everybody else as well. So maybe those who you feel are distant from you are not that distant after all. Um, it's all an illusion, isn't it? Uh, at this point, I want to just pull out some runes, if you don't mind, please. Because I just want to see what runic energies we can super, well, superimpose, but place upon top of. Uh, with the recent past being that of black and clouded energy, the Lord of Ruin, um, a sort of dark energy isn't it a lot of darkness going on you've um, of course we've got the uh, the unknowable normally we don't read the unknowable uh, but it's in the hands of the gods it was in the hands of the gods you had no I don't want to say you had no power to change it but certainly what was going on was in the hands of the gods but now the dag has the light of day that would I suppose bring realization with the with the with, with the shaman the enchanter there 
with the Queen of Cups giving you the and un like the, the, the sort of the foresight uh, to see what what what's ahead and of course to see the light of day a bit like when the when when the crack of dawn shines through the two stones at Stonehenge or whatever isn't it a bit like that uh, of course when we 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 end up going within ourselves for I suppose an inner journey the radio is that strange an inner journey but the radio is a physical journey uh, radio is the wheel isn't it the, Thor, the Thor's chariot which is the chariot of fire that, that goes across the sky pulled by two horses Earthwake and All Spirit and, and, and they are uh, goes from east to west doesn't it and, and that's what represents physical movement just one moment we've got a phone call uh, I shall just uh, tell them I'm busy Hello? I'm busy doing a tarot reading, I'll ring you back. Uh, sorry, but uh, unfortunately, uh, sometimes things have priorities, don't they? And uh, priorities uh, come first. In this particular case, the radio there uh, is um, to do with physical movement. Although we're talking about an inner journey, an inner spiritual journey and then the spiritual movement nevertheless it seems as though you will be going on a physical journey to sort of fulfill that inner I don't know it's to, to, to fulfill an inner aspiration or 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 maybe to come to terms with something that's going on inwardly uh, maybe if say for, for example it's your sister in spirit uh, maybe it's to go to, to the graveside or go to where the ashes are scattered or or go to a, a favourite haunt of hers or or, or or maybe go to somebody you knew her a bit more and or, or something. I don't know. I don't know what, what, what that happened. If she died in childhood, I don't know what, 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 what the crack is there. Uh, I honestly don't know what, what's uh, been going on. But you know what that's about. But it's just strange, isn't it, there, that, that although it's an inner journey, the crow talks about an inner journey, you will be fulfilling it uh, through a physical journey. So between now and the next uh, full moon, you'll be travelling somewhere. But if you're somewhere very important and very major, whether it be in the major arcana, you'll have no power to change anything uh, regardless uh, but you'll have no 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 power over that. But nevertheless, the crow is there in the background, isn't he? Uh, crow is king, and, and 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 carrying the soul from the darkness into the light. Um, but you may not, you might not be as much in the darkness as you may think you are with the day, with the light of day there, the, the daggers, uh, right now. But that's the realization, isn't it? that comes the darkness i suppose the darkest hour is before the dawn and and the sun is rising isn't it right now and and that's uh that's a good thing isn't it so for now we're there chris i hope that's helped in some way we're here to help and that's what it's all about but for now just for now these cards have spoken